This is Gemara and Gittin Daf Yod Gimel, and we're holding on at the bottom of Yod Beis Amid Beis, approximately twelve lines from the bottom. First word on the line is Kamash Malan. Tanya says the Gemara, quoting a Brisa, as we re re open up the discussion from the Mishnah on Yod Alpha Amid Beis, and the discussion as to whether being Mishacher and Eved is a Schos or a Chayiv. For the Eved. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Lazar, Amar Nu Layla Remeir. Says Rav Lazar, that I, that we said to Lemeir, to our friend Lemeir, what do we ask him? Of Allah, who's chus la Eved, she'yaitzim mitach is the Rabbi Lechiris. Why isn't it considered a chus to leave, to go to freedom? And therefore, zachin la Adam shlai b'fanav. Why do you, Rav Meir, disagree? No, it's a detrimental item for him. Why? You know why it's a chav, says Rameir? Because if he was a kayin, uh, no, he wasn't a kayin, he's an evet. If he's an evet of a kayin, then he no longer can eat truma. So we continued asking Rameir one second. I don't understand, they said to Rameir. If you want to not support, if you want to not feed the Eved, Rashai, you're allowed to, and therefore the Eved is not losing anything. Once again, Shabiyah's Chos, Amar Lanu, Rameir responds, Umba ilu Eved Kayin Shabarach, Vishas Kayin Shemarda. If the Eved, if the Eved of a Kayin runs away, or the wife of Cain rebels al Baila, Halayaiklam bit chuma, they're allowed to continue eating chuma. Vizeh, and this one ain't no echel. And this, this Eved, when he gets freed, he does not eat chuma. Therefore, stands Rameir his own. Says Rameir, what do we see? We see that it is a chaiva for the Eved to go free. Responds the Gemara, Avol, and Rashi speaks out that this is the detail which Rameir will yes agree. Havel Isha, regarding a wife, Chayvula, that will agree it is a Chav, it is not detrimental for her to become divorced. Shkei Paisa Minat Shuma, because the moment she gets a divorce, she no longer can eat Shuma, and Umav Sida Minam Mezaynais, and she loses her rights to Mezaynais. Says the Gemara, this, this exchange, is that so easy to understand? Maika Amar Lei, O Maika Mahadur what exactly is the give and take? And the truth is, we take a moment, we look down five lines into the wide lines, and Rashi fills in the mi- missing words. Kalaymar, meaning to say, what's the Gemara's kasha? Tshuva sheyishiva ma'eve koyin shabarach, ma tshuva hi. When Ramey responded that if an Eve coin runs away, he still gets. What is that answer? There he said to him about Mazainis, and he responded about Truma. It's a very disjointed conversation. The two tides are not talking to each other. So rather, says the Gemara, Hachi Kamar Luhu. This is what's going on. Three lines from the bottom. This is where Ramey is telling the Chacham. He shavtuni ala Mazainis. You answered me regarding Mizainais, regarding the obligation to feed the Eved, that what? The Eved does not lose anything when he goes free. Why not? Because the Master didn't have to feed him. But the Eved did lose with regard to Truma. Because as long as he was an Eved, he was able to eat Truma. Now he cannot. V'chitim, and our mayor is continuing. And Rameir is saying, so what are you going to answer me? That what? The master has the ability to apostle for meaning true by giving him a get, by freeing him. So that Evan can take matters into his own hands. He could run away. And if Evan runs away, what's going to happen? He's not going to be freed. And therefore, I'll be able to continue eating the chuma. So this is how Rameir is responding to the Chachamim, saying that no, it should indeed be um, a Chav for even the Eved to go free. Uma ilu, as you turn over the table, you came up with an Aleph, 
Avel Koyin, now this is the continuation of Ramir's Taina. Umailu Avel Koyin Shabarach Vishes Koyin Shemardal Baila Haloy Oichlevi Chuma. They could always continue eating Chuma, but Vizah, but this Avel Einoy Oichel will not be able to eat. And therefore, it's considered detrimental for the Avel to go free. Vichavin Adam Ella Vifanov. So says the Gemara, now that we understand what Ramir's Taina is. Such a good taino. Now the Gemara says back one second. So what do the Chachamim say? Shaber kamer luhu. Rameir has a good kasha to the Chachamim. So my Rava, Rava responds. Hi, new to come. Haji leim mas nisan. This is how the Chachamim are responding to Rameir that the reason why the Avid continues to eat shuma and they shu kinyanoi. This is the end of the Mishnah. Those cryptic last few words in the Mishnah that were hard to understand. It's the Chachamim responding to Rameir. That what's the reason the Evid continues to eat Shuma? You know why? Because the Evid is an acquisition of the owner, Dibai Shakil. But if the owner wanted, Arba Zuzimi Yisrael Upasalei, the owner could just sell him. So Kolecha Di'isei, wherever he is, and then the Evid will automatically be possible from Chuma. So Rameyer, you were saying that it's not true, the Evid could uh, stand his own and make sure he always eats Chuma, say the Chachamim, that's not accurate. They could always sell the Evid. Responds the Gemara, the Rameyer, so what does Rameyer respond? Tainach Evid Kayin, Evid Yisrael, Michael and Meir, by Evid Kayin, I agree with you regarding to Chuma. But what about Evid Yisrael? So Amar Rav Shemal Bar Rav Yitzchak, Mimnei Shem Avsidai, Mishivcha Kinanis. That when the Evid goes free, you know what he loses out on? He no longer can marry a Shivcha Kinanis. Says the Gemara, what? Adar Abba! Are you Matira Bibaz Chayrin? It's true. This Evid can't marry anymore a slave. But the Evid now is a free person. Evid's a Yid. The Evid can marry anyone from Kla Yisrael. So the answer is the Gemara, it's true. But... Even though in numbers the Evid is gaining more prospective marriage partners, it's still considered a chav, says Rameir. Why? It's detrimental because Avda Bevkeir and Ichale, the Evid prefers to be Hefker, prefers to Zilale, Shechichale, Pritzale, for the Evid while he's an Evid to find a marriage partner, to find a spouse is much easier. He's a lower, more Pritzatik a person, and therefore that is what the Evid will like, and that is the reason, according to Rameir. It's considered a chava for the Evid to go free and ain't chavin ladam ela bifanov. And from here we continue in the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Hoy Meritanu gets elish. If someone says, Give this, get to my wife. Or, Shashach is allowed to give this document of freedom to my Evid who may stand he dies. Lo yin no lacha miso. You're not allowed to give it after death. However, to Nubana lish ploy me. Umeis, then yes, yin no lacha miso. So when it comes to get in a shar shikha, you do not give it after the person dies. But when it comes to matana, you do. Says the Gemara, what is the case in the Mishnah? Omar Rav Yitzhak Bar Shmuel Bar Marta Mishmei Derav V'ho Shatzibura Numanachin Bekeren Zavis The case in which you're able to give the money after the person's death is when the money is waiting in a corner that is the scenario that even after the giver dies, you fulfill his wishes. Says the Gemara B'mayaskin, and I don't understand. What is the detail surrounding this case in the Mishnah? Ilema bibari. If you're going to tell me the Mishnah is dealing with a healthy person, Kisibura mayhave. Who cares that all the money is waiting? He never made a Kenyan. And without making a Kenyan, there's no acquisition at all. So why would you have to give it after the person expires? Hello, so what are you going to respond? So must be referring to a person on his deathbed. Says the Gemara, but if that's true, my Irene Siburin, Cain Siburin, Ham, even if the money is not gathered together, why? Because we hold the different Dami. The properties of the words of the Shechemar are as if the mere verbal declaration of one on his deathbed is held on the high esteem that it's as if it's rain, as if it's given over. So what is the case of the Mishnah that it's only going to work according to Rav Yitzhak Bar Shmuel Bar Marta Bishmei Derav if it's Munachim, if it's sitting there waiting to be transferred in the corner? 
Amar Rav Zvid in the last narrow line explains Rav Zvid Lailam Bivari. Really, we are indeed referring to a bar, you're referring to all the person. It Rav Huda Amar Rav. To Amar Rav Huda Amar Rav. Manali Biyazcha Tanei Olev Lain Yimim Ayim Hishlash. And if someone says, you owe me a hundred dollars, but I tell you to give it to a third party in front of the three of us, what is the Alacha? He is Kana. And therefore, says Rav Yudam Rav, that's going to be similar to Din of the Mishnah, but it's, that it's going to be a Din of a Bari, but it's only if it's standing in front of us, only in that case are we going to say that it's going to work. Why? As Rashi points out, which is really what we'll see in Amir Peace, because then it's comparable to a case of AP Kadon. Then it's comparable to a case of a security that the money is waiting. Only in that case do we see that this dinner might mesh lashdan that you would give it over in front of the three people. Terrence number one of Rav Zvid that the case of the Mishnah is with a healthy person. On the second white line comes like Rav Papa, Rav Papa, Amar Laylam, Bishchimera. No, says Rav Papa. Really, we're dealing with the Shchimera. Okay, Edoch the Rav, and like a different din of Rav, the Amar Rav. Shchimera, Shamar, Tinu, Mani, Leploni, Minichse, Minichasai. What's the halacha? Man is a nice din. Then you give it. But if you say money, stam, if you just say a sum of money, you don't say how much money, then a nice thing. Why not? Money cover, cover. Maybe he's referring to money that is buried to the, in the ground, not money that he actually has. What is the Allah like? We're not chayshish for that. So, two different truths him how to learn the din in our Mishnah. The din in our Mishnah that you would give the matan even after the death of the. Give her a machlaikas, Rav Zvid and Rav Papa. Rav Zvid says the din is only by a bari. Rav Papa says the din is. Uh, Rav Zvid says the yeah. Rav Papa says the din is even better. Rav Zvid says the din is only by a bari. Only by a bari, or say also by a bari is probably more precise. So Rav Papa says you are done with the shchemera. So says the Gemara. Rav Papa, my time lomer come Rav Zvid as we classically have. Any time you have a machlaikas, we always want to know why doesn't each one hold of the other. So we have the terrors of Rav Papa. We have the terrors of Rav Zvid. Rav Zvid says it's a sh- Bari. Rav Papa says it's a Shchimera. So now wonders the Gemara, why doesn't Rav Papa, who says it's a Shchimera, hold like Rav Zvid? And with that, we turn over to Yud Be- Oh boy. To Yud Gimel Amid Beis. And the page just disappeared. So while we get it back, we'll just read it outside. Rav Zvid, my time, Rav Papa, because Rav Papa, again, Rav Papa, my time, Rav Papa, Rav Zid. Why doesn't Rav Papa hold like Rav Zid? So explains the Gemara, you know why? Because Kasavar Rav Papa, Rav Papa holds Ki Amar Rav. When did Rav say his din? Loishna be Milva, Loishna be Bikadain. When did Rav say his din? That what? That you could transfer ownership in my Machlashdan in front of three people, says the Gemara. That din was said irregardless of if the monies is actually there. That din is said both by a milva and by a bikadon. Whereas according to Rav Zvid, Bar Hashem, we have the page open in front of us. Whereas according to Rav Zvid, it comes out as we read the Rashi of an Aleph, it's only going to be by a bikadon. So says Rav Baba, no, I disagree, because this din of my Mitzlash of Rav is not only by a bikadon, it's even by a live. So, Kiyama Rav, Leisham, Milva, Leisham, Bikadon. Send the Mara, okay, Rav Zvid, my Temple, Amir, Rav Baba, so why does Rav Zvid hold over Rav Baba? Let me say, my season is Shemarak, he doesn't want to make the Mishnah into an Akimta, into a case only of a Shemarak. Mimai, how do we know that's not the case of the Mishnah? Midik Tani, what did the Mishnah say? Omer Tanu Kazalish, the Ishar Shekhar Zalav, the Umais, Lo Yin Lacher Misa. We said the case of a Get Isha or Shar Shekhar, and we said it's not given Lacher Misa. Taimo says the Gemara de Mais, the reason why it's not given after death is because. The person died. The obvious implication is Amechayim Noisnin. Time of Dhammer Tanu. But it sounds like the only reason you give him Mechayim is because he said Tanu. Give it. Hayloy Amar Tanu. A Noisnin. But the problem is, Ushchim Arav Gavz Lamar Tanu. Noisnin. The Allah of Ushchim is, even if you do not say Tanu, you would even you would still be able to give it. Where do we see this? The Tanan. As we learned in the Mishnah, we'll get to at the end of the Misachta. Someone's going out to be killed. Someone's going out in shackles. And he says, Give a get to my wife. You should and give it. But then they were tracking. They said, Even only one that goes on a vacation 
one that goes overseas is the same halacha. Shemin Shizuri Oimer, Af HaMesukon, even a Mesukon. So says the Gemara, oh, one second. Maskal or Ravashi, or my name will under my season of Shim Jezuri. Based on what you just said, it comes out that it would only work depending on Rav Shim Jezuri. But how do you know that? Dilma Rabonani. And therefore, we do not have any Raya. So now that we've sort of taken a left turn, as we try to figure out the din of the Mishnah, we brought up this din of Ravuna Marav, this din of my Mitchlashton. So it continues the Gemara about 15 lines from the bottom of Yud Gimlam and Beis, or Baran He, the first two words on the line. Kufa Amar Avun Amarav. Let's delve a bit deeper. What was this din? This din that we saw on the bottom of Amar Aleph, Madali Biyadcha, the person responded to Neil Deplaini, Beimaimad Shlashtan. That what happens if I tell you, you owe me $100, and I say, don't give it to me, but give it to a third party. Omar Kana the Locha is that person is Kana. Omar Rava Misalmar Milsa the Rav Vipi Kadan. So now we go a little bit deeper. It's this point that we mentioned on the top of Ahmed Alif, excuse me, on the top of this Ahmed Bayes, and we're trying to figure out why Republic doesn't hold the Rav Zvi, because we said it sounds like it's both by Milva and B. Kadan. So now says the Gemara, Rava learns me this din is only by B. Kadan. Only when the money is waiting in front of us, I will be mil but not in the case of a halva, in the case of a loan. Ve'aloi came, but in reality, oh my Rav, Rav said, this din ha'afilu be milva. This din is really said, even by a milva. It's marnami, or marshmallow, and shmei delevi, milva li biyad, chatzin elu, the plenty, my mishlash done. Kana, of a time of my, why is he kona, my amir, nasi, karmelo, vishaz, mata, mois, shiban, li lechol, adidach. Giving over the shibud, and giving over the power of collection, lechol, da asu, machmasich. Not just to you or anyone who comes from you. And that's the reason why when the person says, don't pay me back, give it to a third party, we're going to listen to him. One second, you're telling me that you're able to give away the power of collection to a third party. Someone says, I want to give over the, the rights of collection to someone who was just born. They weren't alive at the time of the original transaction. If the all of this that you're kind is that we make it as if at the time of the original transaction you're giving it to these people. But if the people were not born, what are you going to say? Answers the Gemara. And it can't be because even Rameer says, I don't know what I'm saying. That is only So why are you going to explain the case? Elam Ravashi. So rather explains Ravashi as we turn over to Yadalit and Baral. We don't have that page in front of us, but rather says Ravashi, a different lumbus. It's not that we make it as if at the original time of the transaction you said any person that comes from you. No, but rather the benefit I know that you get right now, you get benefit that you're collecting from a new Baal Chayv, that is the way that you're marking it yourself. Your government marketer will pick it up at this point, Bisyat Shmaya in the next year.